Hey everybody, I know it's been a long time since I've done any videos all on guns or ammo or whatever because I, over, for over a year I've been battling bad knees, one especially really bad. Had to go through all the, the hoops to get approved. Had surgery done February 23rd, um, sent there for three days. Um, first day out, I just had a kid had to take me down to the ER. Um, a week ago, I had the beat rescue squad out. I was just in so much pain. Um, they finally figured out what's wrong. And anyway, so that's why uh, I've really been not getting out and doing anything. However, I did order a few things online while I was off. So first thing I always wanted was a Glock 20, 10 millimeter handgun. And I got it right here. And it comes with three 15 round mags. Four point six inch barrel. I don't know if I said that, but anyway, I was surprised because always checked, always checked oh, safety first. Uh, it's not not that big for a ten mil. I didn't think, didn't know what to expect. But anyway, to do a little bit of comparison, um, this is the first Glock I bought. Uh, Nineteen, I think it's a Gen Four. Um, I hated this gun at first. Now I love it. It's my carry gun. It's so freaking accurate. But let's just compare them. I know this is not going to be the easiest thing to do, but let's just try. Maybe you can see, though, you can see the 20 stick out just a little bit longer. Barrel. They're really close. They're really close. I know this is not a way to show you. Okay. And here's my... Clock 45, which is another, this is Gen 5, it's version of the 19. And let's see if I can match these up. These are pretty close. Yeah, it's not a very good way to show you, but anyway, finally, um, it's my Glock 41, I think it is. It's a 45 ACP, which is, yeah. You can see this one's going to be, yeah, obviously it's going to be a lot bigger. But anyway, um, I haven't shot, I've been on range. You can't go down range. Anyway, um, the total cost on it through Firearms Depot was six thirty four nineteen plus the thirty dollars FFL fee, so six sixty four nineteen. Which I go to Wiki Arms. Check all the prices usually to see what they got. And um, what else did I? Oh, I, I did a really shitty video on this because I didn't feel good. Um, it's a North American Arms 22 single action revolver. I don't know if I can hold this up like this, but I'll try. Let's just take it out of that fine case. You got this, and I, I opted for this 22 longs, five shots. I paid the extra for the 22 mag, five shots. And I can show you on the video, it, you gotta pull out the cylinder, but look at, okay, look at how small this is. This is my crappy phone, Samsung, Samsung S8. Let's just, I wanna show you this. Let's just see if we can get an idea. See, it is basically smaller than my phone. It does. It fits right in your pocket. It is, it is freaking neat. And from what I understand, okay, so you press these two buttons and it opens up. And ironically, they say it's not bad. Short range, it's not bad. There's no, nothing in here. I'm nothing in here because in order to... Uh, load it, you have to, I don't even know if I can do it really quick on the, the fly right here, but you have to kind of pull back on the the hammer and, uh, oh, actually I did do it. You see the chamber comes out and then you load, you load the, load it in, put it back in, put the pin back in. And the kind of neat thing about this, even if you're afraid that, you know, carry your pocket, uh, if you see, they have these notches, and you rotate it, 
the loaded cylinder so that your hammer is resting on one of these notches. So your hammer is not resting on a live round. So even if a miracle went off a little bit, and you see then you have this over the trigger, so it's probably not going to fire. Okay, so I got that. Um, and I did have to go into Cabela's to get some uh, CCIs because I eventually want to go down. And when it went in, yeah, they had a lot of ammo. Uh, pretty much same, same old, same old. Pretty much same, same price. Then anyway, I wasn't. I was in bed looking at Facebook, and I see that they had these American Tactical Vertical Grips with the light and the red dot. And I'm like, shit, that looks kind of neat. So I bought two of these to see what the light. All checked. Loaded, safety on. And it went out really easy, and it feels really nice. I got to tell you, it, it, this is heavy. It's actually heavy. My only complaint would be they didn't send batteries with it. It takes two of the CV or CR, one, two, three batteries, whatever. But it is very, it feels very good, and it has two settings for the light. And then you have, so I put this in my ATI. Worked really good. Carefully put that down, and I put the other one on my Ruger because I didn't know how many of these I want. So, and um, it fit really well. And I, I haven't, haven't went down to the range. I can't yet. I'm going to try and get down. Hopefully, be well enough to go next week. But I really would like to try and see what the accuracy on these or how they work. But I'm very happy with them for the price, which was, I believe, I think it was $70 a piece, or you get two for, I bought two for $129.99. And I'm hoping that I will feel eventually good enough to go down to Cabela's and check up on the ammo. But anyway, uh, that's all I got for now. And thanks a lot for watching my video.